So hello everyone, good morning or good day everyone. Um, this is a recorded discussion about the seismic analysis for a given structure. So this is a computational example for our given structure. So here is a three-story steel moment resisting frame shown in shown. So it is located in seismic zone 4 with the soil profile type S sub D. So the site is situated 10 km from potential seismic source type A. Okay, so at the distance from column to column is 5 meters. So this is the typical floor plan. So it has um, grid lines A, B, C and 1, 2, 3 and 4. And this is the building elevation. Ground to second floor is um, 3.8 meters. Second to third and third to roof deck is 3.6 meters. So this is a typical frame elevation in line A. So this is the building description um, for level 3. Okay. okay. So this is the building description here in the right side of the screen. So we have for level 3. Here is the level 3. So here in the roof deck. So the story height is 3.6. So here is the uh, story height for level 3. So that is 3.6 meters and the length is for level 3 that is um, okay. so the length is 15 by 10 so this is 15 by uh, 10 meters okay and the assumed dead load at level 3 is 8 kilopascal so this is the computed assumed dead load 8 kilopascal so the building weight is equal to um, the area so that's length times width multiplied by the assumed dead load so that's equivalent to 1200 kilonewton so for level 2, that's here. So this is for level 2. So this is level level 3. So this is for level 2. Okay, um, the story height is 3.6. So the length and width is the same all throughout the building. So that's 15 by 10. So the length is 15, the width is 10. And the assumed dead load in level 2 is 12 kPa. Um, this assumed dead load is computed um, using the ideas for the seismic weight okay, uh, that we have discussed in another discuss, uh, video. So that's uh, the same process. Uh, assume that load multiplied by the length times width is equal to 1800 kilonewton. And for uh, level 1 here, um, the story height is 3.8 meters and length is, and width is 15 and 10 and the assumed dead load is 12. So that's 1,800 kN for the building weight. So therefore, um, here, the total HN is equal to 11.0. And the total weight is equal to the summation of W sub I is equal to 4,800. So this is W sub 3, W sub 2, W sub 1. So summation of the weight in each study is equal to 4,800. So let's proceed for the static lateral force procedure. So since it, this building uh, falls under the description or satisfy the condition for, this, for the static load analysis, we shall use the static lateral force procedure for this uh, structure. So first is we need so first we need to categorize the uh, occupancy category of this structure so this is categorized as um special occupancy structure so the if you will go are going to look in table 208-1 okay, here in table 208-1 says big importance factor for uh, special occupancy structures 
the importance factor I is equal to 1 and I sub P is also equal to 1. And soil profile type, since uh, it is said that the soil profile type is S sub D. Okay, here. So the soil profile type is S sub D, so it's a stiff soil profile found in table 2, 8 dash 2. Seismic zone factor, it is located in zone 4, so the so zone factor is equivalent to 0 0.5. Four. And then, seismic source type is seismic source type A, which means that the moment magnitude is around 7 to 8.4. Okay. And the near source factor, um, in reference to table 2085 and 6, is since it is soil profile type as uh, A, and the distance is... Now, let's look at the problem. 10 kilometers. Okay, 10 kilometers from the potential source type. So, that's 10 kilometers. So, NA is equal to 1 and N NV is equal also to, uh, that's uh, equal to 1.2. Okay, using table 208-5 and-6. So, the response... Seismic response coefficient, C A and C V. So C A is S. So we have soil profile type S D, zone 4. So that's 0 0.44 NA. So our NA is 1. So that's 0 0.4 times 1. And for C Vs, um, S, we have soil profile type S D located in seismic zone 4. So that's 0 0.64 times 1.2 so that cv is equal to 0 0.768 so the configuration requirements uh this is a regular structure there is no irregularity in our structure um okay so assuming it is a regular structure so it's a structural system so this is a steel special moment resisting frame and for structure period we are going to compute using method a so let's see here so using method A, method A is equal to CT which multiplied by HN raised to 3 fourth. So this since this is a steel moment resisting frame, um the value of CT is equal to 0 0.0853. Okay, so that and HN is equal to 11. So let's look at our figure. So that's 3.8 plus 3.6 plus 3.6. So that is 11. Okay, so that's here. This one. Total story height. That is our HN. So from here up to here. Okay. So this is the HN uh, equal to 11. So that's 0. Point so that is 0 0.0853 times 11 raised to 3 fourths. So the structure period using method A is 0 0.515 seconds, which is less than 0 0.7 seconds. So this is the formula if we are going to use a structure period for method B, which we will skip for now. Okay. So now the design base is here. So let's compute. Okay. So the design base shear, we have four formulas for the design base shear in NSCP section 208.5.2.1. Number one is the design base shear equal to CVI over RT times the W. Um, w is the summation of the uh, seismic loads here, building weight. Um, okay, that, here, that's one, one, two plus one, eight plus one, eight, that's four, eight kilonewton. Okay, that is our seismic weight W. Okay, CV is equal to 0 0.768. Um, importance factor is 1. R factor is, is 8. So you can refer this in table 28-11 in NSCP. And T or the structure period is 0 0.515 seconds using method A. So the design base shear is 894.76 kN. Now, for the maximum 
base shear that is equal to 2.5 CAI over R times W. So that's 2.5 times 0.44 times 1 over 8 multiplied by W, 4,800 kilonewton. So that's 660 kilonewton. And the minimum design base, the minimum base shear is equivalent to 0.11 CAI times W. So that's 0.11 times 0.44 times 1 multiplied to 4,800. So that's 232.32 kilonewton. And another um, formula for zone 4 is for the minimum base shear is 0.8 Z times NAI over R times W. Um, that's 0.8 times 0.4 times 1 for the NA and also 1 for the importance factor over R or the response modification factor multiplied by 48. So that's 192 kilonewton. So since the design base shear exceeds the maximum base shear, our base shear will now be equal to 660 kN. But if the design base shear um, is smaller than the minimum base shear permitted by the code, then we will use the minimum base shear. But if the design base shear is in between the maximum and the minimum base shear, then we will use the design base shear. So for this example, since the design base shear is greater than the maximum allowed base shear for our structure, then we will use this maximum base shear as the uh, base shear that we will use for our computation, equivalent to 660 kN. So therefore, V is equal to 660 kN. So first, before we distribute the lateral loads, we have to determine if we will need to um, add an additional load at the top or F sub T. So when T is less than uh, 0 0.7 seconds, uh, F sub T is equal to 0. Therefore, the total base shear will be equivalent to the base shear we have computed a while ago. But when the structure period is greater or equal to 0 0.7 seconds, we need to add an additional load at the top which is equivalent to 0.07 t or structure period times the base shear but it should not exceed 0.25 d multiplied by the base shear so the total base shear now will be equivalent to the additional force at the top plus the base shear we have computed a while ago so since um the structure period is less than 0.7 seconds which is equivalent to 0.515 seconds Therefore, we do not need to add an additional load at the top. F sub t is equal to 0. Okay. Now, um, we will distribute uh, the shear, which is equivalent to 660. Okay, the base shear we have computed a while ago. We will distribute this laterally to our... Uh, we will distribute this uh, 660 kN vertically to our uh, structure so the comp the formula is equal to f of x which means the uh, design lateral force per story so if you are in level 3 this will be f f sub 3 if you are in level 2 this is f sub 2 if you are in level 1 this is f sub 1 is equal to the total base total shear minus excluding the additional f sub t okay multiplied by wx hx Okay, so this is the WHX, H, uh, WXHX per story all over the summation of the um, WXHX. Okay, so first, uh, we will list down the level. We have level 3, 2, 1. Okay, and then the building weight. So for level 3, we have a building weight of 1, 2 kN. For level 2, we have a building weight of 1, 8. For level 1, we have a building weight of 1, 8 also kilonewton so the total building weight is 4800 and then the story height okay for the story height hx that we will use for this computation take note that this is measured from the ground so that is why okay let's look at this figure okay so for level 3 the story height is equivalent to 11 so that's from the ground up to the roof deck so that's the story height for level 3. For level 2, the story height that we will use in this competition is from the ground up to the level 2. So that is 3.8 plus 
plus 3.6 that is 7.4 and for level 1 the story height is 3.8 okay i hope that is clear to you okay so next is the computation of wx hx so this is only the product of the building weight per level multiplied by the story height per level so for example 1200 kilonewton times 11 is 13200 okay and then for a level 2 wx hx or w2 times w sub 2 times h2 that is um 1 8 times 7.4 it's 13320 and for building uh, for level 1, that's 1.8, W1, H1 is 3.8, so that's 6.840. And the summation of the WXHX is 33,360, okay? So here, so this one right here under, ito uh, sa ilalim here, the denominator is equal to 33,360. Now, let's compute the design for lateral force per story. So that is simply um, 660, the base shear, multiplied to 13,200 over 33,360. So that's 261.15. Next, um, design lateral force in level 2, it's 13,320 times 660 the base shear over 33360 so that's 263.52 and then this one this is 6 um 6840 divide 3360 times 660 is 135.3237 so as you can see um the summation of the lateral forces per story is is also equivalent to the uh, base shear that we have computed a while ago so this is because we were only going to distribute this value of 660 to the um vertically to our structure so this is how it looks like here so this is the 660 that we have computed a while ago and <clears throat> now um this will is distributed laterally to our uh, structure in level one that is 135.32 in level 2 that is 263.52 and in level 3 that is 261.15 now if there is a value of f sub t then we will add f sub t here okay so this is how you distribute uh, your base shear vertically to your structure okay.